in 1820 hans christian oersted discovered that how to turn electric current into magnetism till such time the physicists were studying electricity and magnetism as two separate phenomena physicists will never leave any opportunity there were lot of attempts made to reverse this oersted's experiment finally after 12 years only it could be made possible to reverse the oersted's experiment what does it mean when oersted could convert the electric current to the magnetic field why can't we do the reverse that by using magnets to produce the electric current in fact this was made possible by a simple activity and that activity has brought a lot of changes in the economy of modern world the phenomenon linked with that small activity is only known as electromagnetic induction now let's first watch that activity which could bring lot of wonders to the world of physics and then we will discuss the details about it okay today let us investigate the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction the apparatus that are required for this activity is a coil with more number of turns in this coil 0 100 and up to 500 if somebody connects the wires in between 0 and 100 100 turns will be in the circuit now when a magnet is passed through this coil you can see the deflection in the galvanometer at the same time you can see the deflection when it is moving in it is going towards left and when it is taken out it's moving towards right you can watch it again when it is moved slowly the deflection in the galvanometer is also very less when it is moved faster the deflection in the galvanometer is also larger that means more emf is generated when the moment of the magnet is faster and less emf induced emf is generated when it is slower now if i keep the magnet inside at rest there is no deflection in the galvanometer when the two are moved together that is here the relative velocity is zero then also the galvanometer shows the zero deflection 